everyone welcome back to my youtube channel or if you're new here then welcome ew i hope you're all good i have some explaining to do sorry we've just got back from a walk and bumper is panting and crazily out of breath i've got some explaining to do i appreciate that because there's been radio silence here on my youtube channel for three weeks now three weeks off youtube off vlogging is a long time for me because obviously i weekly vlog so it feels like forever so i do apologize however if you all do follow me on instagram you will know now the explanation for the radio silence because i've gone and got myself a boyfriend the nine month husband search has officially come to an end but obviously whilst i've been well to be fair i've been here there and everywhere anyway like ibiza i've literally been all over the place but yeah whilst that has been going on i've just been a little bit quiet with the weekly vlogs because obviously you can't start vlogging as soon as you meet somebody as much as the vlog gang would have loved that i am sure did you miss them did you are you panting because you want to be in the vlog basically we are at charlie's house as we speak and we've just been for a walk and we're gonna go and grab some breakfast with charlie's brother and his girlfriend and then we're gonna go and get a coffee and film a little q a so yeah apologies for the lack of videos but the vlog content and the youtube content is back starting with this q a with my future husband which is very very exciting times for me anyway thank you so much for sending in your questions for both charlie and i and we're just going to get straight into it but i just actually wanted to say as well a massive thank you to everybody who has messaged me saying like congratulations i feel like we've just announced that we've just got married but everybody has just been so happy for me and i think you all noticed really in like my stories and stuff that there is something going on um but honestly your messages and comments on like the post of me and charlie have made me like so emotional and i'm the happiest gal i'm just i feel so lucky i'm like the happiest i've been in a very long time so thank you so much and we're just gonna get into it put it away sort of thing someone's calling you babe hey i don't know oh hello mate you good yeah what's the crack not much just checking you're all good checking you got back to one piece hi you okay yeah you good thank you so are we gonna be in manchester oh! are we gonna be in manchester just before yeah 25th Twenty-six. Probably the twenty-fifth. Come back twenty-six. I'm gonna be in. I'm gonna be in Kent anyway, babe. Cause we're gonna we're gonna be at the festival, and we're gonna go the next day. We'll chill out and uh, obviously get changing that at the hotel. I can't. I can't do it. You do it. <laughs> I can't get it undone. <laughs> Aren't they tight? <laughs> no, they're not. Necessary. Oh, there we go. Wow. Undo my set. Oh my god. There we go. That's got me a sweat that's on. That sticky, that <laughs> <laughs> that's got me a sweat on. That's that sticky toffee pudding last uh, night. Yeah. There's a lot. Maybe we'll maybe we won't get through them all. Depends. Are you nervous? No, I'm scared. I've had a I've had a pre look. Are you scared? Who, who, no, I'm, I'm just gonna ask scared. <laughs> Who's first? Yeah. If you're wondering what that yeah, is. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're next to a um uh, what is it train track a train track but where they have like what do they call it crossings yeah a, cross, a train crossing okay so first how question how you didn't know what that was how did you meet we actually met through lauren yeah we which met, was always bound to happen when me and lauren filmed um i say it or shot it in like way before i knew you like november december whenever it was last year we said that whoever I met was going to be through her. We actually <laughs> called it. Yeah, me, me and uh, Lauren met at a festival over in Mexico, didn't we? Yeah, so Charlie's best friend, Alicia, is a DJ. And obviously Darius, who you've all seen on YouTube before, is a DJ, which is Lauren's husband. And then they were playing at the same festival, were they? Yeah, it was at, uh, We Are Festival over When in was Mexico. that? Uh, November. It was end of I November. I remember me having withdrawal symptoms because she was away from me for 10 days and it was like the most we'd spent apart in ages. But you However, all happens for good reason. Yeah, it did actually, to be fair. <laughs> that was Lee. That's how to... you met Lauren. So that's how I met Lauren. You guys went away, didn't you? Yeah, we went to you LA. Went to LA January. And then randomly one night, I think you guys were out. <laughs> Lauren, Lauren <laughs> you got said... got a little bit tipsy. Yeah, Lauren said to me when we were out there one night, because obviously there was like a massive time difference, so for you it must have been like the middle of the day. She was like, oh, I met this guy in um, Mexico who's like single 
and she said to me he's he's out a bit of you like he's fit that's what she was saying and I was like that's such a Lauren thing to say anyway she told me who you were and she was like oh he follows me on Instagram like we follow each other on Instagram so then I went and searched you and then I followed did I follow you first yeah you followed me do you know I remember because I think you two went to like a party which was like it's a massive Oh, when we went to the villa party in LA. Yeah, we were so drunk. And uh, yeah, you were steaming. Yeah. So then obviously I got a bit of Dutch courage and followed Charlie on Instagram. And then, but we didn't speak for a while, did we? No, I didn't. Well, I uh, messaged you. You, I replied back to you once and then. I was eating a sandwich. Didn't you say something about sharing? Oh, it was a burger. I was eating a burger and you said to me, (sighs) you'd want to share a burger with me. Is that what I said? Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that's how we met. That was yeah. very long winded. I think we could go on for ages about uh, the story. Yeah. yeah. So the next question is, how did your first date come about? So we were chatting on Instagram for a little bit. Had we like FaceTimed and stuff at this point? Yeah. Yeah. We had FaceTimed and then you were, why were you in Manchester? Um, my mate was playing. At Joshua Brooks? Yeah. So Charlie, you were in Manchester that night, weren't you? Me, why yeah. would me and Lauren be in the night before? We was, we were, I was hungover. Was it? Wasn't I? I don't know. Did I not look rough? No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> it's basically, Charlie came to Manchester and he was going out like later that night and you just said like, why don't we go for a drink beforehand? It was like out of my comfort zone to just go meet you. Like, obviously you're not from like the north. So, I don't know. It was just really random and Lauren was like, you actually going to go? And I was like, yeah, I'm going to go. <laughs> so I think it was just telling me to go. I don't know what it was. Um, so that's how our first date came about, Charlie asked me. And it was like... Charlie asked me for a drink, I said we weren't allowed to call it a date, because I was too nervous, I was so nervous. Were you nervous? Yeah, I was actually. Yeah, I was, I was nervous. Were you actually? Yeah. <laughs> You're never nervous. Asha, how slash when did you know Charlie was worth dating? I think after we'd like spoken on FaceTime and stuff a few times, I thought... I think that settles the nerves a little bit. Once you like FaceTime and stuff like that, and you get used to one another. We like FaceTime pretty much every night, didn't we? How did we even start FaceTiming? That's such a weird oh, thing. I just randomly put it on you. I remember I just FaceTimed you and you was like, oh no, you can't FaceTime me because I've not got my hair done or whatever, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. And I was just like... Oh. Now I don't give a fuck, to be honest. Yeah, but now you're um, just like, yeah. Now so, I yeah. answer FaceTime and I just woke up I'm like, ugh. Um, but yeah, we just How do I know when it's worth dating? Yeah, I think after we FaceTime, like, I realised that obviously we got on and stuff. That's how I knew you were worth going on a date with. Because not everybody is worth going on a date with. Don't you agree? Mm-hmm. What yeah. first attracted you to each other? I've got these notes in my phone, right? What? <laughs> so basically, before I started like dating, when I like become single, and me and Lauren and Liv were like chatting you didn't about... You have a shopping list. Basically. <laughs> do you want me to read them out to you right now? You want, you've never seen these, right? <laughs> Come on, let's have a look. Hang on. How far down are we talking? This is a list of notes, right? From the end of last year. And this Go is on, it. This is up, everything I was looking for in a guy. And you tick every box. This out, is though. what attracted me to you. Funny. Number one, you are very funny. Has a good job, but not only a good job, enjoys it and likes it. Because there's so many people in the world that are in a job that they don't like. And I think that's really unattractive because I think you should just do what you want. Likes to... <laughs> this is so me. Likes to eat out and go random places. That is you. Yeah, we literally eat out all the time and just randomly go anywhere. Organised but spontaneous. Yeah. Dogs... I'm, more, I'm actually more organised now. I never used to be until I met you and then I realised I had to butt my ideas up. So. You're quite organised, but then you're also equally as spontaneous. Yeah. Which I really like. I like people that like doing things. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Dog slash animal lover. Yeah. Intelligent. Yep. This is a yeah, funny one. In some degrees, yeah. Yeah, I think you're very intelligent. I actually do. I don't think you give yourself enough credit. <laughs> All right. You're a bit of a joker, which might take it away from your yeah, intelligence yeah. a bit, but fun slash not boring. <laughs> and then do you wanna know what do you wanna know what the last one is? High sexual <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> High sex drive. Oh. And that is, you definitely ticked that box. Yeah, right, so that well, was my list. Completed it then, yeah? Completed you, the you're, list. You're the first person or the only person I dated during being single that ticked every single box. I can delete that now out of my notes. <laughs> Don't need it anymore. Found it. The, That's it, job the husband searches over. It took me, I was single for nine months. Yeah, so you ain't going to need that for at least 80 years. At least in another life. When was your first date and why? So we went to Mule in Manchester, which is a bar, and yeah. somebody said, "How did everyone was 
really curious about the CCTV of us kissing. Yeah, how I think you need to explain that because everyone's like, what, are you pals, with, this, are you pals you... with the CCTV cameraman? How Turns did you get not, the CCTV but... of you kissing? So that, that video of us kissing was our first date. That's why we went in Manchester. And basically, I know the guy that owns the bar. And you felt when, comfortable, so you thought when that, Charlie yeah. said, Oh, let's go for a drink somewhere in Manchester, I didn't want to go. Obviously, I know a lot of people in Manchester, and I didn't want to go to somewhere like obvious, somewhere really busy, and like Mule's just a really cool vibe, isn't it? Mm. And I know the guy that owns it, so I'd sent him a message that day, and I remember I sent him a message, and I was like, Oh, I'm bringing a guy to Mule tonight on a first date, and he was like, No way, and I was like, Yeah, yeah, and he was like, Oh my god, because it's just not like me to do that. And when I'm drunk, I don't think I've told you this, but when I'm drunk, basically, I have this um, I have this saying that I always say when I'm really drunk. If someone's like up to no good, I always say, what are you up to? I just always say it when I'm drunk. And basically, he sent me a screen recording of me and Charlie. He was like checking in on how the first date was going. <laughs> and he sent me a screen recording of the CCTV and he put, what are you up to? <laughs> That's what he put. Um, because we were literally <laughs> kissing, and it's just funny because, like, the waiter like walks past and he's just like minding his own business, isn't literally, he? Literally, he has a little quick glance. Do you reckon people thought I contacted the CCTV company? Do you what know about, what? I'm not what, gonna what, lie. What about Max's comment on the comments? Oh my god, I know. Did you go to school with the CCTV guy? I'm not gonna lie, that oh, is actually something Max. I would do so I could actually understand why people would think that because I'm very sentimental like that. <laughs> anyway, I know why. And a couple of people have asked this and I know why. What? So someone said, Were you friends before dating? I feel like you friend zoned each other first. Do you know why people have asked that? Because when we went to watch Alicia at Tobacco Docks and I put that selfie, that boomerang of us in your mirror in your living room and I put oh, Bestie. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wrote Bestie, but I was just trying to pull the wool over people's eyes. That's exactly what I was trying to do. There's like nothing yeah, what about... What you up to? Nothing, <laughs> <laughs> nothing about us has ever been in the friend zone, has it? No, literally. You couldn't have got anything more different. Further, yeah. Further different. I don't think I've ever met two people more attracted to each other. Mm, than us two. Yeah. Hanging off Hello. each other. Hiya. Hello. Um, um, yeah. Yeah, so no, there was never a friend zone. We were never friends beforehand. Best friends now, though, aren't we? What is your favourite thing about each other but not looks? We both said this to each other, didn't we? We both just said, like, obviously, both our personalities are very yeah. similar. And you're, like, for a guy... Not that I'm saying all men aren't caring, but you're you're extremely caring. Like, you're... I feel like you're like the first boyfriend I've ever had who genuinely has like my best interests at heart and I love that about you yeah and I like the way you dress that's a big thing for me <laughs> I do like that <laughs> you said that to me this morning didn't yeah. you yeah <laughs> when you get dressed I was like mm. but yeah bit of me, it, bit overall of me. we just uh, we just love each other yeah in, in terms of how we both are personalities yeah. we have a laugh enjoy each Obviously, other's company obviously looks does help but it's not all about that you're, you're definitely my am I your type I don't feel like I am yeah Am I your usual type? Interesting. Yeah. You're definitely dark my hair, type. nice eyes, lovely figure. Giant hits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice rack on her. Um, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, nice to hang off and just snog when we're pissed up to, with one another. Oh yeah, that's yeah. our favourite thing to do. That's our favourite thing, hobby. Just, just out literally in public yeah, just, and just literally like... We actually don't care. Oh yeah, that's what I love about you that isn't looks, is that you are not scared to like be affectionate with me in public. Not that I'm saying like we have to get naked and be all over each other in front of everybody, but <laughs> like not that you're not scared to be affectionate, like you always tell me how much you love me. Yeah. Which is really nice. Did you expect to meet someone so soon with you dating to marry? Obviously like I knew like I'm not wasting, I'm not having like another like shitty two year relationship where someone wastes my damn time. I just knew that what I was looking for was like long term, like somebody that I want to spend my life with. So I expected it to take longer because of what I was looking for. But then I was also single for nine months, like it went really quick. I was expecting it to, to take me longer because of what I was looking for in particular. Charlie. Charles, did it scare you when Asha told you that she was looking for a husband? Um, Hus husband? Husband. 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 Did it, um, I told you literally on our first date. I was yeah, like, literally. by the way, I'm literally... Now, nah, to be fair, when you first said it, I was like... Were um, you? Well, your initial reaction, you don't really talk about that on a first date, do you? So, initial reaction, I was Cut like... bullshit. I was like... 
fucking hell. She's. <laughs> I was like, wow, she just dropped it in there after about 15 minutes of first meeting her, but yeah, we move. No, um, I just said, by the way, like, I am lucky. I'm on the... I'm nah, and I, I think said, I think we're both at a good age as well. I think it didn't scare you because we've both been through, like, similar things. Yeah, and we spoke about that. We'd actually spoke about that on FaceTime as well, yeah. so um, we both knew what we wanted and also what we we both explained what we'd been through previously so um, and it was like a really similar experience yeah and we weren't prepared to waste each other's time for no reason so have you had the conversation yet about marriage yeah yeah we're gonna get married yeah we get married in about a week's time maybe. yeah like next week <laughs> what are you doing next Wednesday <laughs> Did you sleep together on your first date? We then? actually didn't because um, obviously we were actually under a bit of a. We had we had we were on a, we were on a time schedule. Didn't we? You had yeah. to be. I had to shoot off, and uh, I don't think you two. We had a feel, window. We, you weren't feeling too clever from the night before. Yeah, like we had about hungover, yeah. six drinks. <laughs> yeah, those cocktail that tequila sours are oh, stunning. But yeah, we um, we was only no, together we like the first time. We was only together for like what hour and a half, hour and forty-five yeah. minutes. Which probably isn't, less which isn't very long for a which first isn't day. very long but i think that done is actually good because then it was just like short that's sharp. why i was like look what do you want to drink i'm looking for what a, do you want a drink i want to get married <laughs> i want to snog you see you later i'll see you next week <laughs> yeah, same time again let's see uh, no we didn't see it together on the first day people are asking that because when me and lauren did a say or shot it me and lauren both said we don't think it's a bad thing if you do want to sleep with somebody on a first date yeah I don't think it is. First time we slept together was. That's in, the next question. Oh, was it? When was the first time you had sex? First time we slept together was when we flew over to Miami, which was about what two, three weeks later. Yeah, yeah literally. The first time we slept together was in Miami, which is. Did we see each other when you first got there the first day? Yeah, we did. So yeah, you came. I, and even then, we didn't. We like we just like literally see each other for about half hour then you shot off i shot off and then we went to an event the next day didn't we yeah so charlie was in miami with his friends it was music week well you've seen the vlog um you were there with your friends and i was there with obviously lauren and darius and our friends so yeah yeah we didn't actually like spend the whole time there together but then we went to this one we event. literally we didn't really spend each like we didn't spend that amount of time together really it was only like maybe that night on the tuesday and then I see you on the Thursday, and then I flew home on the Friday, didn't I? No, you went there for very long, weren't you? No, so I went from Sunday to Thursday, and then flew back on the Friday afternoon. So we didn't spend that time, much. So. But it is such a random situation, like, what, what people dating, like, sleep together for the first time in another country? How weird, yeah, like, in Miami, unique, really. in Miami, in Miami of all places. Yeah, literally. But basically, we all went out, it's the night that I went for dinner with, like, obviously Dee, Lauren, Hayley and Patrick and then yeah. we went to, where did we go afterwards? We went to space. Lauren, Darius, Patrick and Hayley were like, we're going to go, obviously like I obviously was with you. And they were like, we're going to go, like, are you going to stay? <laughs> we <laughs> were steaming. And we were that. so drunk. Lauren said, are you going to stay with Charlie? And obviously like, they didn't really know you that well then, so that they were like leaving me with this guy <laughs> in Miami. <laughs> but we had a really good night, didn't we? Yeah, we they did, all yeah. went back to our apartment. And we stayed out until, God, yeah, it was late, like six? Five, yeah, five in the morning, something yeah, like that. Yeah, and then we went back to Charlie's hotel, and that's when it happened. That's the first time we had sex. Was it love at first sight? Yeah, literally. I feel like it might have been, or was close to. What is your favourite thing about your relationship? That sex. you are the best. <laughs> yeah, I like having a spin on you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the best. You, he always says you're the best. Do you actually think I'm the best? Yeah, do you think I'll tell you for a laugh? She's like, oh yeah, you're the best. The best what? Ever. Best, best To what, be though? created. <laughs> Woman. Love <laughs> <laughs> you. Charlie. Oh, he's got, he's got, oh. Sorry, coffee, yeah, I know. Charlie oh, always. Coffee, lip gloss. Charlie always looks at me and says, <sighs> what do you always say? What a woman. What a woman. You always look at me and say, what a woman. Favourite thing about our relationship, our trust. And our trust. Loyal, our trust and loyalty, loyalty to each other, because that is rare nowadays. Yeah. And we're really close. Like, we got really close very quickly, because we're just so open with each other. And our sex. Yeah, unreal. Sex. Sex has got to be a, it's a big part of a relationship. Yes, yeah, really lovely. Sorry, sorry, Mum, if you're it's watching. Really lovely it's really stuff. lovely. It's so romantic making love to you. Isn't it? <sighs> sorry, yeah. Mum, or Mums, if you're watching, but <laughs> how long have you been seeing each other slash together? Our first date was the 13th of March. No. Yeah? Was it? Mm hmm. 
Yeah, it was, yeah, sorry. I thought February for some reason. Yeah. How soon did you say I love you to each other? Probably about... After the first date? <laughs> I actually think we started saying, did we start saying it as a joke? I'm yeah, sure we started bit, saying it as a joke. It was a bit of banter. We started went, saying it as banter and then it just became serious. And then you put serious. I in front, I went, damn, that's serious. Oh yeah, no, so it started off as love you, like we would joke and say love you, and then when I, and then I put an I in front of it, after I think it was after Miami. Yeah. That's when I knew I was in love with you, like... As soon as that question, I come into play, that was it. The next question is, Asha, how did you know Charlie was the... How slash when did you know Charlie was the one? So basically, when we were in Miami, it was the night after we slept together for the first time. Yeah. Me, Lauren and Darius went for like some brunch, but me and Lauren had stuff to shoot in the morning first, so we went out first. Dee was like catching up on some sleep, and he said, oh, I'll come and meet you later on. We realised we were by your hotel having brunch, so you came and said like hello to me and Lauren, and then yeah. just as Charlie was leaving, like Darius came... And like, I remember after you like walked off and like Darius got me and Lauren a bottle of wine and I like took a sip of my wine and I looked up and Dee You was... and Lauren drinking wine? Oh, Don't no, sound yeah. like Doesn't you sound too. like us, does it? But I remember Dee was giving me this look and that I was drinking my wine and I was like, what? And he was like, you really like him, don't you? I think that's when I knew I was in love with you. That's when I knew you were the one because other people were... Other people were... Get onto it right now. Oh, hello. Hello. Yeah, we're um, we're just videoing. Hey, Connor, what's the crack? Do you want to say hi to YouTube? Oh, yo, you're vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? What are you eating? Oh. Is that a Kit Kat? No, it's right, mate. What are you saying? Is that yeah. a Kit Kat? You need to take a break. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's when I knew Charlie was the one. Well, that's when I knew, like, I think that's when I knew I was in love with you. But I knew you were the one because I feel differently about you than I've ever felt about anybody. Correct. Correct. Touche to that. Because I said the self to you. In it. In it. In it. Charlie in always it. says. Charlie and his friends always say in it. And now I've in started it. fucking saying it. Jesus. Do you live far from each other? Yeah. Connor. Three. Love you. Hope I made the vlog vid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we live three and a half hours away from each other. Yeah, it's a bit of a trek. Yeah, just a bit. But do you know what? That's life. Like, I always knew I wasn't going to meet someone in my hometown. I, I didn't want to meet anybody in my hometown, not again. And vice versa, so. So that's just it. And like, I think if you love somebody enough, like we, we know that we want to be together for the rest of our lives. So we're going to work out. We're going to think of a plan very soon, aren't we? Correct. That Correct. is what we will be uh, doing. What are your similarities? I've literally, literally everything. 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 Per personality, um, both morals. full of shit, morals. Sarcasm. Sarcasm. We're very sarcastic people. We've got the exact same sense of humour, haven't we? Yeah. And we understand it very well, so we can literally yeah. say anything or do anything. But Yeah, we just we have a laugh that. all the time. And we don't Thank take you. our... We're like the right level. Like, what I wanted was somebody who was like... There's this famous saying where, like, the goal is... To what's the words? What's the saying? To have a laugh with somebody you take seriously, and that's exactly what we do, isn't it? Yeah, who made that? Up? Yeah, <laughs> no, pretty, pretty true, pretty true. No, I didn't actually. Who but made I am, that rule up? You then? But I am a writer, so could no, I saw it. I saw it on another quotes account. Not You're me. a writer. Yes, Charlie. Yeah. Haven't you seen my quote account? It's got sixteen thousand followers. Have you? People like what comes out of Have you brain. actually? Yeah, my quotes account. But what yeah. else is similar? Our music taste, obviously. Music taste, yeah. Um, and that's what's really important. Both into like, obviously, Healthy. fashion, health, health, is your wealth. Health, health is wealth when we're not hungover. We're having yeah. a nice chilled weekend this weekend. Yeah, we're not swinging tequilas left, right and centre. Yeah, for once. Um, yeah, I think we're similar in literally every way we can possibly literally. be. Both independent and like to like work hard and just yeah. crack on and do what we've got to do. Like we then... both have the the same balance of everything in our lives as each other. Yeah. So I'd say that's all. Well agreed. Everything. Has Charlie met Bumper? Yes. Yeah, literally this weekend. This weekend um, I brought him to Charlie's house. Brought him to mine. He's a nervous wreck, bless He's him. He's nervous. He's very nervous. Because but you're very big. He's settling now. It, to be fair, he doesn't like men touching him or like stroking him. But he actually lets me stroke him, and he actually does the claw thing where he like pulls it back if he wants it to carry on. So yeah, for him he, to do that over like one or two days, he lets me pick him up and stuff like he that. He doesn't so. even do that with Josh. Like him, and, like he, he's never let Josh that close to him. So yeah, he's um, yeah he's settling. We've nice, got a few it? for you now, babe. Yeah, go on. You ready? Fire away. Are you ready? Do you prefer Asher with short or long hair? Right. 
so basically, Charlie's only ever known me with my This like, woman's stressing me out because I first met her when she had long hair and now I've seen her without long hair and I've got... I mean, you can't tell right now. Various people messaged me saying how nice and lovely she looks without long hair. I wanted to keep short hair. Um, and yeah, when you get long hair, I'm going to be fuming. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> so you actually like it short, though? I like it short. Do you not and think I know it that you it? like it short as well. You just want to get long No, for... I like it short for like the, the what's the word? Ease, because obviously you have to style long hair. Yeah. But I feel and like it's a I'm nightmare not... to wash and all that, isn't it? Charlie, Charlie prefers it because it doesn't get Charlie, in his face. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. It, does, it doesn't get in his face when we're sleeping. Yeah, it does aggravate me, to be fair. You were like, weren't you? Literally. Do you actually like it short, though? No, I think you should keep it short. Well, this question. Do you find it annoying that Asher calorie counts everything? I'm better now. When we first met, I was on a cut. I was cutting. I was like, I was in a deficit. So I had to. That is really probably strict. the most stressful thing in my life right now. What, me calorie counting? But Every just... time I pick something cut, or I'll say, should we get this or should we get that? You're like, right, I need to count the calories. I need to literally get my calculator out and calculate it all. And I'm no, don't like... get my. I did it first. No, to be fair, when we first met, I was in a deficit. So I was in a cut. But now I'm not really. Fucking hell, we've eaten like bloody pigs the last few days. <laughs> Haven't we? Last night we were so full when we got home from dinner we couldn't even speak yeah, to each other. Literally. We were just we lying like... next to each other in silence, rubbing our stomachs. We thought we'd you were rubbing... shit ourselves. You... <laughs> you were rubbing my belly because I had belly ache in the night. Yeah, I... that's cute. I was not in a good way to be fair. It doesn't. But... I mean, does it annoy you that I calorie count everything? Is yeah, it? Is it a flaw that you it. can accept? <laughs> is it a flaw that you can accept? I can accept it. Yeah, just for you. It's just. It's just a way of life for me. And I'm not in a strict cut right now. I'm maintaining calories and I don't really have to count out loud. However, they have just made it law that all calories have to be on restaurant menus. Because it was last night, wasn't it, on the new menu? Like that couple next to us. Oh my God, yeah, there was this couple next to us, right? <laughs> I was like, I was going to try to like, listen to what they're saying. This couple next to us were like, talk about loads of random stuff very loudly. And then she was like, I fuck, I'm doing like the Southern accent. I fucking hate it that they put calories on the menu nowadays. And I was like, Oh my god! And I was you like, she looks me out I was like, like listen to what they're saying, and they were like, "Why did you put calories on the menu?" Blah blah blah. But I guess it is for health purposes, so it's just one of those yeah, things. Health is wealth. Charlie, do you think Asher Charlie. is the one? And if so, why? Yeah. Why yeah. do you Why do you think I'm the one? Well, you know why, don't you? Because you're the best. <laughs> <laughs> no, but why though? What? What? Why? Come just on. literally everything. Let me hear it. That you love it. Let don't me just you? have this one minute, this one little <laughs> minute. Just because you know that I love you to bits, and no, everything... you said you said that I'm I'm different because You're... I don't care what people think. Yeah, you don't care about what people think. Um, I mean, to both, an extent, we're both very similar. Do you think I'm just normal? No, well, you're far from normal, but yeah, yeah I, I am. love you for what you are. Thank you. <laughs> that's really cute yeah I'm not normal that was a really silly question yeah like you got to be the most n not normal bird that I know but oh shit I said bird <laughs> but I'm gonna lady train, I'm gonna train woman. that out of him woman lady girl whatever but, but yeah. just not bird you, you're far from nor uh, normal yeah literally like but you like that what did you call me yesterday down to earth down to earth yeah you are very down to earth that's and that goes sense. along with you not caring or giving a shit what people think and yeah. just makes you unique from the rest. That's the word, unique. You think I'm unique? Yeah. Do you? You're a unique woman. How did Charlie ask you to be his girlfriend? Uh, he didn't, I just presumed. <laughs> you are, we actually haven't even had that conversation. I just basically, I just posted pictures of Charlie on Instagram. I didn't even tell him I was doing it. I didn't, did I? Yeah, <laughs> you actually did, didn't. Do you actually want me to be your girlfriend? I'm panicking. Do you not want me to be your girlfriend? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. I want to be your wife, though. You are going to be my wife. <laughs> Sorry, my pants are undone. Yeah, um, right. just get your kit off on the camera. Wait, do you know what? I, didn't, I don't need him to ask me. Like, we just knew, didn't we? Mm -hmm. I'm not into, like, you need to ask me that. I'm a very modern day, like, I don't believe in that shit. Uh, yeah, so I don't feel like it's up to the guy to ask the girl. And, like, we just knew, like, at the end of the day, neither of us want anybody else. So I think that's no. when you know that you're each other's boyfriend I'm going to have you for 80 years plus. Eight years past, but I'm, I'm 20. I'm going to sign the contract. How old am I now? Oh, if I lived that long, 30, that'd be fucking yeah. stunning. Anyway. Are you 30? No. <laughs> 28, Charlie. Just because you're younger than me, you little... 
Shit. <laughs> what is both of your biggest X in the opposite sex? Oh, God. I know what we you're going to say. We spoke about this last night. <laughs> we did, actually. Literally. Charlie it's doesn't like bad feet. Bad feet. Uh, uh, well, I would probably think that a lot of lads would agree with me. Like, if you look at a, a girl or a woman and they've got, like, really nice shoes on or they've got, like, an outfit on and then their feet are on show and they've got dead feet. Dead. It's just like, oh, mate, it's making me cringe now. Do you think I've got, do you think I've got nice feet? You've got nice feet, yeah. They're little, aren't they? Yeah, tiny. My biggest ick in a man is arrogance. That's it. If you're arrogant, you're a prick. <laughs> what about that story you told, you told me? Yeah, actually, prick. to be fair, you've told me a few stories about arrogant lads that men. have like, approached you and like, yeah. messaged you. I can't stand, I can't oh, stand like, people taking themselves seriously, arrogance, people who are rude to waiters, waitresses people that work places just i hate people that think they're above anybody what else was, what was the thing that you um you said to me about remember do you remember it what thing when lads can't basically can't expose anyone no what thing i'm not exposing anyone what basically just like yeah arrogant arrogant how was it trusting someone again after being so hurt after your last breakup I, didn't, I don't think I found it hard. The thing is for me is I don't blame, like I never generalise, is that the word? Like I don't, I'm not like one of those girls who are like, I've been hurt so all men are trash. Like if I can trust someone, I can trust them. And I literally knew straight away. Like we had a conversation, didn't we? And I was like, yeah, your look, like your morals and your loyalties are exactly the same as mine. Yeah. I find it. I found it really. I found it a lot easier to trust you than I thought. I just I would. think we've both had experiences of it before, and just like, I think like you know, once you meet someone, we you both, just know straight away. Both of our last breakups were like horrific when it comes to like trust and loyalty. Yeah. So I think that's something that's massively important to us. I could trust you very easily and um, yeah. I became very comfortable with you very quickly. Mm -hmm. So I found it all right, but I appreciate it's not like that for everybody. No. Charlie, do you like Asha's tattoos? Yes. Very quirky, very different, random places. Favourite one, obviously. How? Every, everyone knows that Asha drinks 900 cups of tea a day, so that's got to be the best Is that, that your favourite one? Yeah. And the Stay Mild. Stay I mean, Mild. mild. Stay Mild. Stay Mild or Wild. Whatever way you read it. Whatever way you want to look at it, yeah, basically. Yeah. Were you in Ibiza together? Yes, we yes. were. You know, someone asked if we were actually neighbours in Ibiza because I said that, like, the in-between has turned up at my door and it was you and you and the boy. That I'd already planned for them to come and stay with me in Ibiza. Yeah. You're welcome. Obviously, we've got our own... My Thank you, darling. My family have got our own place out there, so... And we were out there at the same time, so I just said, come stay with yeah. me. Lovely, though. It rained for two, three days Yeah, as well. rained for the yeah. whole... The last day was the only sunny cheers day Cheers, Arbit. Yeah, cheers when I was going home, yeah. Cheers, Arbit. Stunning. Arbit See you in a bit. Not a question, but I could feel the connection from that first story you posted of him on your lounge in Miami. That's cute. Good minds think alike. Yes, they do. Do you know what? That is... So many people, like... How many people commented saying that they were really happy for us? It was so cute. And I've, loads of messages, So they? many people have messaged me. And like, messages on the Instagram post. So thank you for everyone yeah, that thank messaged you. on the post. It we appreciate so it very much. It was so cute. It's nice that so many people are happy for us, isn't it? Yeah. Especially like our nearest and dearest because they, obviously they've seen us from like, well, for weeks now, like and how close we are and how much we love each Ready other. Ready for it to be all revealed. Yes. <laughs> what are you both most excited for in terms of the future? Just making memories together. Yeah, and also working as a team together. Because yeah. I personally believe if you don't work together as a yeah. team, then um, you can't achieve what you want to do in life. So yeah, uh, absolutely. I'm looking forward to me and Asha both working as a makes team. Dream work, honey. Bosh. Also, we um, um, also just like buying a house together. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, just moving forward and hopefully being successful, which. We both are. We, anyway. we both this, work hard anyway. So. Yeah, and we just have this feeling like we've had this feeling pretty early on that we're just going to have like a really nice life together, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> Love you. Can Charlie keep up with the amount of tequila you drink? Yeah. Yeah. He can. To Consume be fair. drinks. To be fair. So Is I'm he like in a... the Yorkshire Tea Gang? Yep. I don't make the teas, do I? I let you, you make, make the tea. tea. So um, yeah. Do I'm I make a cup of tea? Yeah, you do. I'm not allowed to make tea, so. I don't, don't let anyone in my head. life chopped off yeah i don't let anyone in my life make me tea yeah i think you'd freak out 
even like the girls in work i'm like i'm on the bros girls because it's just no one gets it right when is the wedding all to be revealed you can't tell people that we'll get married i don't think it'll be long before we get married do you i reckon we'll get married soon completed we're done we smashed it is that is that everything does he pass the test do i pass the test of course you um do. Of course you do. Do you, ever get, do you ever get bored of me hanging off your neck like a koala bear? <laughs> <laughs> like a little finger right, monkey. Should we go right, home we're then? going. Love you all. Ciao. Love you. You've got lipstick all over your face. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be so gross.